The Earth is bombarded by dozens to hundreds of space objects every day. It is estimated that 18,000 to 84,000 meteorites bigger than 10 grams make impact with our planet each year. Astronomers around the globe estimate they have identified more than 90% of the largest near-Earth objects, numbering more than 10,000 so far, but a new twist has been thrown into the equation. In late 2014, astronomers have discovered a previously unknown asteroid belt in deep space, hurling through space towards our part of the solar system. Most asteroids in the belt have a maximum diameter of 100 meters, but even at that size, they still have the potential to cause significant damage. NASA revealed that 400 impacts are expected between 2017 and 2113, but an asteroid of the size equivalent to what hit Tunguska, Russia in 1908 can make impact as soon as 2020. This 30 meters wide asteroid is technically known as DA-14, and it was discovered by astronomers at the La Sagra Observatory in Spain in 2012. It currently has only 1% chance of making impact with Earth, but scientists can completely rule out the possibility that it might smash into our planet. If indeed the DA-14 collides with Earth, it would hit with the force of a 2.4 megaton explosion and level hundreds of squares of miles. The Tunguska event happened in a remote Siberian forest, so the real fear is in the possibility that DA-14 might hit a highly populated area such as London, New York, Tokyo, where it could potentially claim tens of thousands of lives. However, the 2.4 megaton explosion wielding asteroids are not the main concern of most astronomers. What they are concerned of are the colossal monsters, the extinction level sized asteroids that can sterilize the entire planet of life. As physicist Professor Brian Cox once said, there is an asteroid with our name on it. It's only a matter of time before an asteroid large enough to wipe out the human races collides with Earth. Many in the science community believe that a similar asteroid responsible for killing off the dinosaurs is just around the corner. Professor Bill Napier, an astronomy expert at the University of Buckingham, said a strike either by an asteroid or debris from a comet could have devastating consequences. He said if something like this happened, depending on where it hit, it would be absolutely life-altering. The atmospheric chemistry would be upset by cutting out sunlight, it would be like a nuclear winter and it could last for tens of thousands of years. These comets are 200 to 300 kilometers in diameter, they are sure monsters and could sterilize the earth if we are hit by one. The more immediate risk comes from sub-kilometer asteroids and there are tens of thousands of these in space which are capable of causing damage on a regional scale. Professor Napier said the Earth is at risk of two types of strike, asteroids which are lumps of rock and much larger comets formed from ice which shatter into billions of diamond-like pieces as they hit the Earth. He said though some famous comets like Halley's Comet present little risk, there are similar ones out there which could have catastrophic effects. The swift total comet discovered by Lewis Swift on July 16, 1862 and by Horace Parnell total on July 19, 1862 is next due to rocket past the planet in the year 4479. Professor Napier said, Halley's Comet, which is about 10 kilometers across, does not cross closely enough to the Earth. The most dangerous one is the Swift Total Comet, which is 27 kilometers across and passes very close to the Earth. There is a more immediate risk from the smaller asteroids. Comets are extremely fragile ice bodies and from time to time they get caught up in the gravity of the giant planets and are thrown inwards. This stress can cause them to disintegrate. The dust would cut out the sunlight and we would see multiple bombardments. This is not unlikely at all, and if we are looking at small comets, they become a significant risk on timescales relative to civilization and capable of collapsing civilization. These things are floating around in the sky and there is a real hazard out there that hasn't been properly studied and it could happen at any time. Needless to say, 
there's a lot of controversy around the subject, it could be tomorrow. According to the JPL, there are more than 100 ring-like structures on Earth which could have been caused by an impact. A working group chaired by Dr. David Morrison at NASA Ames Research Center estimates there are more than 2,000 asteroids larger than one kilometer across in space. NASA says an impact by one of these in the wrong place would be catastrophic, but it's unlikely to threaten the entire civilization on Earth. The working group warned, an impact by an asteroid larger than 1 to 2 kilometers could throw the climate into chaos, triggering crop failure and loss of life. An impact by an object larger than 5 kilometer is damaging enough to cause mass extinction, it said. Regardless of any future dangers, NASA agree that it's good to locate these potential dangers so that we can continue to add and monitor asteroids such as 2012 DA14. The real fear, however, is in the 10% of the yet-to-be-discovered extinction-level size asteroids that might be sighted a little too late. For example, in 2014, the 2014 EC, an asteroid 10 meters wide, was discovered only two days before it came within 38,000 miles of Earth's surface. That's just 16% of the distance between our planet and the moon. In human scale, it's no different than a bullet whizzing past your head by a few strands of hair. Although an asteroid larger than 0.6 miles or 1 kilometer wide, it's unlikely to stay undetected for as long by every telescope on Earth pointed at the sky. The 2014 EC shows a rather chilling example of how one day we might start the day without any worries of tomorrow, and the next day we might wake up to a massive life-ending space rock headed our way. And that is it for this video, hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please let me know in the comment section that you want more contents like this. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, it helps me out a lot and this channel as well. Lastly, we have yet to figure out a way to predict the future, and personally, I prefer it that way. As William Shakespeare once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you on the next video, goodbye.